Ladies and gentlemen, a, an historic day, huge news, and I'll give you my analysis as to why Democrats should just look in the mirror and blame themselves. Um, do I agree or do I think this is the best thing for the country? Actually, I don't think it's the best thing for the country, but I do understand that Democrats did this to themselves. They pushed for this. It wasn't Trump's fault. Uh, it's actually not mashed potato brain Joe's fault. It's, well, it's the Democratic Party. It's the Democratic Party's fault when they cheated Bernie Sanders, they paved the way for this outcome, okay? Really quickly, at that moment in time, the only person who could have defeated Clinton was Bernie Sanders. I mean, the only person who could have defeated Trump was Bernie Sanders. It wasn't Clinton. I told everyone in the Hill, the Huffington Post Salon, I was on CNN and MSNBC, and I told everyone, and NPR quoted me, that article, that, that, the, the, the NPR uh, article is, in, is on hagoodman.com, and it's, it's below in the pinned comment as well. I said, Clinton is unelectable. Okay, no one listened. Got, people wrote hit pieces against me. They tried to disparage me. My writing was shared hundreds of thousands of times. Literally. The, the, so, Supreme Court overturns Roe v. Wade, ending right to the procedure upheld for decades NPR. And it's all over, obviously. The U.S. Supreme Court officially reversed Roe v. Wade on Friday, declaring that the constitutional right to the procedure upheld for nearly half a century no longer exists. It goes back to the states. Okay, why did this happen? Donald Trump uh, defeated Clinton. Democrats couldn't accept. They accused him of working or being uh, colluding or being installed by the Kremlin. They have their own conspiratorial theories that they, uh, they justified because of very partisan, highly partisan intel chiefs like Clapper and Brennan and Comey and Strzok and McCabe. All of these people didn't stop what took place today. Your obsession of trying to take down Trump didn't stop what took place today. In 2015 and 2016, I clearly articulated in The Hill, The Huffington Post, and Salon, in countless articles that were first looked at by editors and edited and then given a stamp of approval at The Huffington Post. At that point, I wasn't, I wasn't allowed to just simply publish and then self-publish and, and then, you know, the article would go out. No, no, no. The editors looked at everything I wrote and, and then the articles went through the editors and then they were shared hundreds of thousands of times. The whole world knew that if you cheated Bernie Sanders, Democrats were not going to win. I said Clinton would lose to Trump. Now, I explained, like I explain now, I voted for Donald Trump, or I voted for, I wrote in Bernie Sanders, or didn't actually, uh, I did not vote for Clinton, I did not vote for Trump in 2016, but I did vote for Donald Trump in uh, two years ago, and I will vote for him again two years from now. The reason is very simple, Democrats. This is your inability to understand basic logic is exactly why today took place, okay? Listen again, because you didn't listen in five years ago when people were saying, but what about the Supreme Court? I explained, I will not vote for the Lincoln Project or a neoconservative foreign policy or a Bush, Cheney, and Rumsfeld foreign policy I will not vote for never-ending counterinsurgency conflicts. I will not vote for endless military interventions. I will never, ever uh, choose a candidate that's backed by people who will have no problem with regime changes. The foreign policy issue, to me, was more important than this or any issue, although I, I, I don't think this is very good for the country. Even though I'm conservative on a lot of things. I don't think it's good for the country, but that's the Democratic Party's fault in 2015 and 2016. Don't blame Donald Trump. Don't blame the Kremlin Democrats. Your obsession, your obsession in not being able to see the long, like not being able to truly understand politics is what got you here. It wasn't like you think it's like the Supreme Court, these norms and traditions and institutions you knew if you lost in 2016, this would happen. You knew it. 
Don't get upset now. I'm so appalled. I'm so upset. I'm so appalled. Oh, my God. Oh, my. Did you not? What about Trump and breaking the norms and traditions? Trump's been out of office for two years. It's eight to nine. Six, it's seven to eight. No, eight to nine percent inflation. Sorry. We have food shortages. Gas prices are going through the roof. Uh, you wanted to do away with fossil fuels. That didn't work out. And you, you, you pushed, and if you don't believe me, and if you think I'm just an old Bernie bro that eventually became conservative, like all of them, you know, um, here, Elizabeth Warren agrees Democratic contest was rigged for Clinton, BBC, same thing, um, Washington Post, Elizabeth Warren and Donna Brazil agree the 2016 primary obviously was um, um, here. Oh, here, the, 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 the Washington Post. Don, Elizabeth Warren and Donna Brazil agree the 2016 primary was rigged. You have the New Yorker uh, here. And then you have Vox. Still, they don't get it. Was the Democratic primary fixed? Was it? They don't. They still can never. They will never be able to. Democrats will never be able to look in the mirror. Never in a million years. You did this to yourself. You did this to yourself. NPR quoted me, and I said that that, that Clinton was unelectable. It was a populist year in American politics. You imbeciles. It was a it was a, a year eight years of President Obama. Nobody wanted a third President Obama term. Nobody wanted that. That's why Clinton, well, one of the reasons Clinton lost, in addition to James Comey. James Comey is what really sunk everything. But I knew that there would be a, a Comey letter. There would be something because you can't have top secret intelligence outside the United States government. You can't have top secret and special access program intelligence on servers running outside of the United States government. It can happen. You can't go with a candidate like that. So I remember like people uh, giving me a lot of heat. I remember the usual suspects in terms of uh, progressive and left-leaning pundits, uh, wonderful uh, YouTube celebrities that have close to a million or over a million subs who are actually part of political action committees that might have been um, linked to campaign finance violations if Republicans decide to investigate AOC and those campaign finance violations, it'll, it'll, it'll in, a, in a very hilarious manner, lead back to uh, perhaps a couple of YouTubers. But again, that's another issue nobody cares about. None of these people, like the Democratic Party looks and they say, oh my God, we didn't get what we want. It must be the Kremlin. But you can't blame the Kremlin, Gail, can you? It must be Donald Trump. He's the embodiment of corruption. Can't blame Trump, can you? It's the Bernie Sanders people. Well, you could b blame people like me, but then that would be uh, ignoring the fact that I warned you and told you this would happen or that I told you this possibility could take place. People are saying, what about the Supreme Court? You're not going to vote for the Supreme Court? And I said, I will not because it's an issue that I find foreign policy is an issue that I find more important than the possibility in 2015 and 2016 of Roe being reversed. Do you understand the words that just came out of my mouth? I explained that in the in salon the hill the huffington post everywhere but it you still people were mocking and denigrating and and trying to insult and make fun of bernie sanders supporters in 2015 2016 what did you think was going to happen the arrogance and hubris the narcissism the quest for political power and influence got to you and you lost again it wasn't trump's fault it wasn't trump's fault this time was it and it was not the fault of voters who didn't fall in line. It was the fault of, here, I mean, The Guardian, Debbie Wasserman Schultz to resign as DNC chair. Um, Politico, Wasserman Schultz steps down as DNC chair. New York Times, Debbie Wasserman Schultz to resign DNC post. NPR, De Debbie Wasserman Schultz to step down as DNC chair. NBC, uh, DNC De uh, chief Debbie Wasserman Schultz stepping aside. Where, what did she do? She joined. She promptly joined Clinton's campaign. You knew this would take place. Now, you know, the decision, most of which was leaked early May, 
means that the procedure will be rolled back in nearly half of the states immediately with more restrictions likely to follow. For all practical purposes, the procedure will not be available in large swaths of the country. Uh, that's yet to be seen. That's yet to be seen. Uh, there will be some restrictions, okay? What people go after the Second Amendment. This isn't even addressed in the, in the Constitution. So they talk about the Founding Fathers. You, there's no way the Founding Fathers would have allowed any of this. But that doesn't mean it's a good thing for the country. I, I agree with the people who are outraged. Uh, outraged because of their own despicable behavior. should be They should be outraged at themselves, not at the Supreme Court. The, the, okay, here, getting to the point, 10 minutes. Bernie Sanders is, would have defeated Trump. Okay, so if you want to wait till t tell people 10 minutes, that's my viewpoint. You might not agree if you're watching the channel, and I love you and I respect you, uh, but he would have. Because he would have gotten those three states that Clinton narrowly lost. Okay? All right, so let people know that 11 minutes in, he would have gotten those three states that Clinton narrowly lost. Okay? You did this to yourselves, Democrats. You did this to yourselves. I'll be back. Uh, go to the Stock Market Crash channel. We'll talk about the terrible economy there. I have numerous segments up already. And go to the Bitcoin Crash to 10,000 or lower channel. Bitcoin will crash to 10,000 or lower. And it, the economy is in turmoil and freefall. Foreign policy is a catastrophe. And now this for Democrats. Um... Again, I mean, it's not a good thing for the country, but it wasn't like this issue was not enough for me to have just fallen in line and voted for a candidate that cheated the person that I was voting for. See, I wasn't born. Here's another issue really quickly. When I was born, I wasn't born. I didn't pledge allegiance uh, or loyalty to the Democratic Party. Wasn't born and just fall in line. Can't just treat people with disrespect and expect them to fall in line. That's the majority of Democratic voters, not me. Then I said, you know what? Uh, look at what Cheney and Rumsfeld and Bush did to the planet, to the world, to Americans, to American families, to people still dealing with the repercussions of their foreign policy, okay? Traumatic brain injuries, people who lost their lives, people who lost limbs, um, families here and uh, in other countries, numerous other countries. And I said, okay, the most important issue is to ensure that those maniacs never get in power again and are able to implement such des destructive foreign policy. But you, don't, you didn't care, Democrats. And I told you, that's what would take place. Anyway, hit subscribe. It's just like I told everyone, Clinton would lose to Trump, and I, I predicted the stock market crash. Go to the stock market crash channel and hit, watch the playlist below in the description. And I said that Bitcoin would get to 10000 or lower. I said that in January of 2022. I predicted the crypto crash uh, in September of 2021 and the stock market crash in September of 2021 20, 20, as well. Give me your thoughts below. Hit subscribe to this channel right now. Huge day. Give me your thoughts. Thanks.